Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. Today, I'm going to talk about a calculator that works inside the terminal. So, let's get to it. Today, I'm not going to go into a virtual machine. I'm going to make this video in my bare metal computer. My main production computer. This computer is running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And if you used my... Uh, Arch Linux post install script, you're gonna have this calculator already installed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, let's open up uh, Firefox. And I think I already have it opened up. There it is here on um, Workspace 2. So I'm gonna go into archlinux.org and in the package search, I'm gonna type in lib calculate with a Q and it's right here. So this is it here, it's called lib calculate with a Q and it was just updated on November 27th so just over a month ago uh, maybe a month and a half and we can click it on here and this is it here okay so that's the name of it and let's close my web browser and let's go into a terminal what I'm going to do is uh, just cd into mench Arch. I'm just going to quickly go into my GitLab repository and I'm going to ls it and I'm just going to vim into this auto app. Let's vim auto and let's just go to the top. And of course, this is my uh, Arch Linux post install script, which if you want, you can download it from my GitLab repository and use it because normally, in case you're new to my channel, normally I do a uh, base install of Arch Linux, regardless of whether I do a manual install or I use Arch install, their automated install script. I always do a base install and then I install. I use this post install script to install all my favorite apps, software, window managers, and desktop environments. So if we go down here, let's just scan down. And here it is here on line 49 lib calculate so if you used my post install script you're already going to have it if you didn't use my post install script you're just going to do sudo pacman s lib calculate and notice it's spelled with a q and not a c lib calculate okay let's just do man calc with a q let's enter it in they have very good man pages and instructions, and I'm not going to read these to you. Let's just uh, go down. Let's go to the bottom. So there's a thousand lines, a thousand sixty seven lines with all kinds of information that you can read about and how to use it. OK, let's go to the top. Let's do uh, calc dash. H, let's pipe it into less. And also here, there's some simple commands and basic things that you can do with it. And of course, I'm not gonna read all this to you. <laughs> okay, so let's get out of there. Let's open it up. So to open it up, we're gonna do QALC. Okay, now, the first time you open it up, you're gonna get this message. And it's gonna ask you, it's going to tell you that they have a new option. It's called auto calc. The default is no. So if I hit enter, auto calc will not be turned on. And if I want it turned on, I have to type in yes the very first time. And you only have to do this the very first time. Let's just hit enter. Let's go with the default. We're not going to turn it on. Let's hit enter. Okay, let's just clear the screen. So let's do uh, 100 times 100. See, there's nothing there. And if I hit enter, there's my answer. 100 times 100 equals 10,000. Let's clear the screen. Let's just do that again. 100 times 100. See, there's no auto calculation. But if I hit enter, then it's going to give me my formula and my answer. So if you want auto calc, the very first time you use it, you should type in yes, but we didn't. We went with the default, which was no. But let's say you want to have it. So if you want to have it after the fact, after the first time you've opened up and used the system, you're going to type in this command, 
set auto calc and it's with a c not with a q <laughs> okay so now it's on now we could have had it turn on automatically if the very first time we logged in if we would have typed in yes then it would be turned on automatically this is what it is 100 times 100 so even before i hit enter it's automatically putting the formula and the calculation or the answer on my screen and i like this and of course you could hit enter too and do a new formula let's clear the screen let's do 400 divided by 2. see it's already on the screen and if i do that see it's auto calculating it that's what auto calc is so now we have it turned on right let's say you don't want it right so let's do 400 plus 300 i like it though let's say you don't like it and you want to turn it off you're going to do set auto calc off okay now let's see if it worked let's do 100 times 100 see there's no auto calculation hit enter now there's my answer now let's now if you want to get out of here you could type in exit back in calc you want to get back out you can also type in quit to get out you can type in quit or exit to get out so now we have it off right let's go into calc 100 times 100 and we have to hit enter but i like the auto thing on so i'm going to do set auto calc and let's just exit out of there let's clear the screen let's go back in and let's type in 100 times 100 equals 10,000. And I can hit enter. Now, I like to have commas. I don't like the 10,000 looking like that. I mean, like, look at, let's say you do that plus 6,500 plus 900. I like to have commas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in this command, set digit grouping you know, leave a space and put a two in there okay now let's clear the screen and let's see if it works 6500 look at that there's commas plus 4500 equals 11,000 now let's see if it stuck let's quit out of there let's clear the screen let's go back in 4500 times two see now we have commas 4500 plus nine thousand plus 2500 equals 20,000 so it's stuck now let's clear the screen now there's another thing so this is a good example 70 we did 75.27 times 96.33 equals 7250.7591 so i like to have my decimal points rounded off to two digits okay so what we're going to do is uh let's hit enter and i'm going to do set max decimals to two let's see if i did it right okay now see it changed it so let's clear the screen and let's do and also too it has memory and it has history <laughs> so when you're here you can use your up arrow to go up let's go up one let's go up two and there it is okay so see now how see how it's rounding out my decimal points to two now let's exit out of there and let's say see if it's stuck let's type in calc and let's just go up it has history right <laughs> and see there it works so i added a comma to it and i made sure my decimal points are rounding out to two digits now another thing we can do is you can go into it could type in mode and you can see all the modes that are on or off scan down you don't use your arrows or the j or the vim keys you just hit enter you can see right here at the bottom press enter to continue so you can see functions that are on or off now we're out of it but we're still in the system and you could even type in history we can see some of the stuff we did or you could just use your arrow up okay and let's just do one more formula and then i'm going to close the video now let's say i wanted to add a bunch of numbers together and then multiply them multiply the total 
So you just follow your order of operations, right? So I do bracket. Let's do 725.36 plus 587.97 plus 3051.52. Okay, so I want to add up those three numbers and they add up to 8,364.85, 85 cents, right? And, but I want to total it. But I want to take that total and multiply it by 5. So I'm going to put them in brackets times 5. And there's my total. 41,824 and 25 cents. And it's interesting too, if I use my backspace, you're going to see the number change. The total change and the number. Let's take, let's take out the times 5. Now it's 8,364 and 85 cents. And as I backspace it, you can see it changing. And I use my up arrow and it goes back. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to use a calculator that works in a terminal. I showed you how to turn on and off the auto calculation, how to add a comma in your long numbers, and how to set the decimal point to round off to two digits. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.